Hi, I will show you now how to use repeat function in multi-channel design. For example, if you have a block that you would like to repeat several times, you can either copy it and then connect accordingly. But if there, is a, there are many channels you want to make, this is a little bit awkward. So you can rather use repeat function. And I will now show you how. I will just select these blocks here and delete them so that I could just use that one for this repeat function demonstration purpose. <clears throat> I will delete everything that is on my way, take this block and make it a little bit larger. Okay, something like that. And I will now repeat it. So I will click on the name of the block and I will write repeat the name of the block from one to six. Now I have six of these blocks, which is also denoted by the change of the uh, frame. Okay, <clears throat> how do I connect that block to the rest of the circuit? Well, some of the pins, some of the ports are already uh, connected in parallel or are planned to be connected in parallel, so I can just connect them directly. The others are connected to different parts of the circuit, so I actually have to repeat them as well. So I'll just double click on the name here and I will type repeat and the name of the port and here as well. I do not have to type how many times because the number of repeats is already defined in the name of the block. Okay, now I got it. And the last thing I have to do is to connect these ports to the circuit. Well, I, ha I can use wires, of course, but connecting wire to the port is not enough. I can connect uh, the wire to bus, for example, or using bus entry or whatever. But the crucial thing is here that I have to put net name on that. So I will use place net label and the name I will choose could be anything, but since I have, um, it could be also temp p, but uh, I will rather use tp because um, it's shorter and I don't have enough space anyway. So that would be probably sufficient. And now how does it work? The repeat function repeats temp p port six times and anything I put on that port and name it, that repeat function would actually work on this net label as well. So I can now just copy that to other ports and rename the names. So this would be TN, this would be gain, this would be res, and that one would be probably again TP out P OP, let's say. Okay, so I can connect all the rest. And of course, I have to rewire all the parts of this PCB here and there around and here as well, because the names, old names do not apply now. They have to be named as the block is repeated. So TP1 to 6, TN1 to 6 and so on. So let's start renaming. And um, it would take some time. So I will just skip it. And I did rename everything. So here the OP goes to OP1 to OP6. TP, TN, gain and res go through that bus to the microcontroller. TP1 to 6, TN1 to 6, res 1 to 6 and gain 1 to 6. So all that is now connected. And if I click validate here, no errors are found. And that multi-channel design is now ready to be applied to the PCB. And there you see the channels already have been made from before, of course. And you see these six channels here. I had to root only one, and then I just copy and pasted the one routing um, uh, design to the other five. So um, that's the main purpose of the multi channel design so that you don't have to repeat it manually as many times as the channels are. Okay, so that's about this repeat function. As I said, it's very useful if you want to um, <clears throat> have several channels uh, and that they don't take uh, so much space on the schematics. 
uh, it's very um, how to say clear and uh, easy to read and uh, how to uh, copy and paste the routing of information in the PCB that's what I will show you some other time